In the history of pop music, only a few artists can sustain long-lasting success and relevance. And in this video, we look at the longest careers in pop music. Madonna Few artists have embodied reinvention and longevity, quite like Madonna. Emerging in the early 1980s, she quickly became one of pop music's most influential and provocative stars. Her debut self-titled album was released in 1983 and featured hits like Holiday and Borderline, which established her as a rising star. However, it was her follow-up Like a Virgin in 1984 that skyrocketed her to international superstardom, with the title track becoming one of the most defining songs of the decade. Throughout the 80s, Madonna Madonna remained a dominant figure, with a series of iconic albums like True Blue, which produced classics, and Like a Prayer, which pushed boundaries both musically and visually. The 1990s brought further experimentation, albums like Erotica in 1992 and Bedtime Stories in 1994 introduced more explicit themes while her 1998 album Ray of Light took a more spiritual tone, incorporating electronica and gaining critical acclaim. Even as the music industry shifted, Madonna remained relevant through the 2000s, with hits like Hung Up and Four Minutes. Over 40 years into her career, she is still continuously touring and releasing music. She remains a symbol of reinvention, paving the way for future generations of pop artists like Lady Gaga and Rihanna. With each era, Madonna has redefined her image and sound, proving that she is the ultimate pop survivor. Michael Jackson Michael Jackson's career began in 1964 as the lead singer of the Jackson 5, where he became a child star with his brothers. Songs like ABC and I Want You Back became timeless classics, but it was his solo career that made him a global icon. His 1979 album Off The Wall was his breakout, gaining commercial success with hits like Don't Stop Till You Get Enough and Rock With You. His follow-up Thriller became the best-selling album of all time with singles like Billie Jean and Beat It, and the title track, cementing his status as the king of pop. As his career progressed, he continued to push artistic boundaries. Albums like Bad and Dangerous produced chart-topping singles like Smooth Criminal, Black and White, and The Way You Make Me Feel. His 1995 album His Story continued his momentum, further solidifying his legacy. Even though his popularity declined in the 2000s, he was still touring and releasing hits occasionally. Even after his untimely death in 2009, his music remains an integral part of pop culture. His influence on dance, fashion and music is unparalleled, breaking racial barriers in the music industry. Michael's career lasted over four decades, and his legacy as one of the greatest entertainers of all time continues to endure. Mariah Carey Mariah burst onto the music scene in 1990 with her self-titled debut album, which produced four number one singles, including Vision of Love and Love Takes Time. Known for her five octave vocal range, she quickly became one of the most successful pop artists of the decade. Throughout the 90s, she dominated the Billboard Hot 100 with a string of chart toppers, including Hero, Fantasy and Always Be My Baby. Her 1994 holiday album Merry Christmas, featuring the old time hit All I Want For Christmas Is You remains one of the best-selling holiday albums of all time, solidifying her status as the Queen of Christmas. Despite personal and professional challenges in the early 2000s, she made a triumphant return with her 2005 album The Emancipation of Mimi, which produced the massive hit We Belong Together. Over 30 years into her career, she continues to release new music, tour, and hold her iconic annual Christmas performances. She is an absolute legend and holds the record for the most number one singles in the US by a solo artist with 19 chart toppers. Whitney Houston Whitney Houston's career is one of the most remarkable in the history of pop music. Known as a once-in-a-lifetime performer, she was often referred to as The Voice. Born into a musical family, Whitney was destined for superstardom. She started her career singing in church and doing background vocals for artists like Chaka Khan. In 1985, she released her self-titled debut album which became a massive success, featuring hits like How Well I Know and Greatest Love of All. Her follow-up album Whitney in 1987 became the first album by a female artist to debut at number one on the Billboard 200, featuring iconic hits like I Wanna Dance With Somebody. The 1992 release of the Bodyguard soundtrack, featuring her signature song I Will Always Love You, 
catapulted her to global superstar and became one of the best-selling albums of all time. Throughout the 90s, she continued to release chart-topping albums, but her personal struggles, including issues with substance abuse, took a toll on her career. Though her output slowed in the 2000s, she attempted a comeback with I Look To You in 2009, which debuted on number one on the Billboard 200. Despite the album's success, her live performances were not the same due to her vocal decline. Tragically, Whitney Houston passed away in 2012, but her influence on pop and R&B remains unmatched and she is still celebrated as one of the greatest vocalists of all time. Beyonce Beyonce has evolved from the lead singer of Destiny's Child to one of the most influential solo artists in history. Her ability to dominate pop culture while exploring different musical styles has solidified her as a powerhouse in the music industry. She rose to fame as the lead vocalist of Destiny's Child, one of the greatest girl groups of all time in the late 90s, with hits like Say My Name and Survivor. However, it was her solo career that elevated her to global superstardom. Her debut album Dangerously In Love in 2003 featured smash hits like Crazy In Love and Baby Boy and earned her five Grammy Awards. She is now the most awarded artist in Grammy history. Over the next decade, she will release a string of critically acclaimed albums, including B-Day in 2006, I Am Sasha Fierce in 2008, and 4 in 2011. She became known for her electrifying performances, even performing at two Super Bowl halftime shows. Beyonce's self-titled 2013 album, released without any prior announcement, became historic. Her 2016 album Lemonade became a cultural phenomenon, exploring themes of race and infidelity, and was a groundbreaking visual album. She is now in the midst of a new trilogy, with Renaissance, Cowboy Carter and a third album to be released soon. With over 25 years in the music industry, Beyonce has not only dominated pop music, but also has become a cultural and political icon. Her career shows no signs of slowing down, with her tours consistently breaking records. Cher With a career spanning six decades, Cher has consistently reinvented herself, staying relevant across generations. She is often referred to as the goddess of pop because she was a pioneer in the music industry. She first gained fame as a part of the duo Sony and Cher in the 1960s with their hits I Got You Babe. The duo enjoyed success with a string of pop hits, but by the early 70s, she began to break away and focus on her solo career. She then took off with hits like Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves and Half Breed. She also became a TV star with the Sony and Cher Comedy Hour. However, it was her return to music in the late 1980s and early 90s with power ballads like If I Could Turn Back Time that reignited her career. In 1998, she released Believe, which revolutionized the use of autotune in music that would influence pop music for years to come. The song became one of the best-selling singles of all time and introduced Cher to a new generation of fans. She continued to release albums and perform, even announcing multiple farewell tours, but always returning to the stage. Cher's ability to reinvent herself across multiple decades in both music and film has made her one of the legendary figures in pop culture. She continues to tour and record new music, showing no signs of stopping, now pushing 80. Elton John Elton John has had one of the longest and most successful careers in pop music history. His career took off in the early 70s with hits like Your Song, Rocket Man and Tiny Dancer. He has some of the most iconic songs in pop history. By the mid 70s, he was one of the biggest stars in the world with multiple platinum albums. Though his popularity dipped slightly in the early 80s, he made a massive comeback with hits like I'm Still Standing and Sacrifice. In 1997, his reworked version of Candle in the Wind and tribute to Princess Diana became one of the best-selling singles of all time. He continued to tour and release new music in the 2000s, and his farewell tour, Farewell Yellow Brick Road, began in 2018 and concluded in 2023 grossing close to $1 billion. The 2019 biopic Rocket Man further solidified his legacy, introducing his life and music to a new generation. His collaboration with Dua Lipa also helped his relevance in the 2020s. With over 300 million records sold, Elton John remains one of the most successful artists in pop history. Shakira Shakira is an icon whose career spans over three decades. She began her career at the age of 13 when she signed her first record deal 
with Sony Music Colombia. Her early albums Magia in 1990 and Peligro in 1993 did not make much of an impact, but by the mid 90s she had redefined her sound and style. Her career truly began to gain momentum with her third studio album P.S. Descasos in 1995, building on that. Her 1998 follow-up, Donde Están Los Ladrones, produced more hits like Ciega Sormunda, showcasing a unique blend of rock and Latin rhythms. Shakira's crossover into the English-speaking market was a bold step, marked by the release of Laundry Service in 2001, featuring her global hit Whenever Wherever. The album catapulted her to international fame. She then released Fijasho on Oral Volume 1 and Oral Fixation Volume 2, which featured the chart-topping single Hips Don't Lie. Throughout the late 2000s and early 2010s, she maintained her position in pop music with albums like She Wolf and Sale El Sol. In 2014, she released her self titled album, which included hits like Can't Remember to Forget You featuring Rihanna. In 2020, she performed at the Super Bowl halftime show alongside Jennifer Lopez, a defining moment in her career that showcased her staying power and relevance in pop culture. After nearly three decades, Shakira continues to evolve as an artist. Her recent singles and albums like El Dorado in 2017, which featured hits like Chantaje, prove her adaptability in the constantly changing landscape of music. She is still one of the most streamed artists today, releasing relevant hits even this year. She is one of the most globally beloved artists of her generation. Janet Jackson Janet's career spans over four decades making her one of pop music's most influential figures. Born in 1966, she began her career alongside her famous family. In 1982, at the age of 16, Janet released her self-titled debut album, followed by Dream Street in 1984, which saw modest success, but it was a third studio album, Control, that catapulted her to superstardom. With hits like Nasty and When I Think of You, Janet established herself as a powerful artist. Her follow-up album Rhythm Nation 1814 and 1989 had chart-topping singles like Miss You Much and Escapade, making her a global superstar. The album's tour was groundbreaking, for its choreography and stage production. She then explored more sensual themes with her 1993 album Janet, which featured hits like That's The Way Love Goes. Her 1997 album Velvet Rope was more introspective, addressing themes like depression and self-worth, while 2001's All For You brought back her playful side, with the title track becoming a massive hit. In 2004, Janet's career was derailed by the Super Bowl halftime show controversy, but she continued to release music and tour. Her 2015 album Unbreakable debuted on number one, marking a major comeback. In 2019, she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, recognizing her lasting impact on the music industry. She is currently on her Sold Out Together Again tour. With over 100 million records sold, Janet Jackson's legacy as a pop icon is undeniable. Stevie Wonder Stevie began his career as a child prodigy signed to Motown Records at the age of 11. His early hits like Fingertips in 1963 showcased his talent as a multi-instrumentalist. However, it was in the 1970s that he truly became a revolutionary figure in pop and R&B music. From 1972 to 1976, he released a series of groundbreaking albums, including one of the best albums of all time, Songs in the Key of Life. These records not only feature timeless hits like Superstition, isn't she lovely and Sir Duke, but also addressed social issues, blending pop with political commentary. Even into the 80s and 90s, he continued to release successful music, with songs like I Just Called to Say I Love You and Part Time Lover becoming major hits. He has remained a revered figure in the music industry for over six decades now, earning numerous accolades, including 25 Grammy Awards. He is still a great performer, well into his 70s. Which pop stars with longevity did I miss? Tell me in the comments below.